Army of Two is essentially EA's shot at making a Gears of War type game that focuses entirely on co-op play. Now, I hear some of you out there whining, but Morgan, EA is a giant corporate devil who wants to subjugate Take-Two and make games bland and boring. And to you I say, shut up, Army of Two is good. Welcome to the Army, soldier. The game takes place in a crazy alternate universe in which private security contractors are effective and confident. You choose to play as either Rios or Salem, two former Army Rangers who embark on a most excellent adventure. <laughs> Their quest to visit exotic locales, kill interesting people, and get paid for it will take you all over the world, from Afghanistan to China. As a two-man team, the gameplay revolves around working together and covering each other to progress. <laughs> Borrowing a term and mechanic from the MMORPG genre, Army of Two utilizes aggro as a key feature. When you shoot at enemies, you build up aggro or hatred toward yourself, thus drawing their fire. When your partner shoots at them, the aggro shifts to him. Thus, a large part of the game is spent using one character to distract foes while the other flanks them undercover. It works well and provides structure to a tactic that can frequently be frustrating in other shooters. You depend on your partner to help out in various ways, especially when you're wounded. He also functions as a gunner when you happen to find a shield to carry around and gives you a boost in those hard-to-reach places. Unfortunately, your teammate's AI isn't nearly as advanced as the enemy's, and he tends to be, let's say, less than effective at times. This guy is such an ass. Big ups, yo. The real appeal of Army of Two is playing co-op with a real live person, either online or split screen. If you loved co-op Gears of War, here is a game practically custom built for you. Team mechanics even extend to the multiplayer, which features two versus two objective missions that make good use of the co-op dynamic. I got you. Being mercenaries, money is a primary motivator for Rios and Salem, and there's a good reason why. As long as they're paying, I don't give a what they think. You need cash to exploit the excellent weapon modification system, which allows you to customize all the guns in the game. You can even pimp the weapons out to draw more aggro, and to ensure that your Uzi will indeed weigh a ton. Controls occasionally prove slippery enough to get you in trouble. It's hard to get your bearings at times, especially if you've been outflanked. Also, a parachuting sequence that uses six axis tilting to maneuver is less than welcome. For the most part, Army of Two is a solid experience that bodes well for EA's commitment to new and original properties. A four <laughs> out of five.